जय शारदे माई एवरी वन हैव यू ऑल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर इन्जॉइंग एंड सेफ एट योर होम्स चलिए एज वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड आर टू चैप्टर्स नाउ वी नीड टू स्टार्ट आर थर्ड चैप्टर दिस इज द रीडिंग वीडियो फॉर द थर्ड चैप्टर बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग वी ऑल नीड टू डिसाइड द श्लोका ओके सो बी रेडी फॉर द श्लोका कर्मण्यवाधिकारस्ते माँ फलेशु कदाचना माँ कर्म फल हे तुर्भु माँ ते संगोत्सव कर्मणि ओम शांति 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 हेलो स्टूडेंट्स चलिए लेट स्टार्ट रीडिंग ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री दैट इज वेदर एंड क्लाइमेट weather at a given place and at a particular time the degree of temperature temperature wind amount of humidity in the air and rainfall determine the weather weather is the condition prevailing for a short period of time over a small area we may experience different weather conditions during the same day because weather changes constantly constantly the overall changes in weather conditions that sustain for a long period makes season climate climate is the average of weather conditions for a long period of time across a large area different types of climate are experienced experienced in different parts of the world the climate of a place influences influences the lifestyle of people crops grown clothes worn food eaten and houses built the climate also affects the life of animals and plants found in a region factors that determine climate distance from the equator the sun has a major influence on the climate of a place the area along the equator gets direct heat from the vertical rays of the sun and is thus hotter than the other latitudes 
latitudes as we move away from the equator rays of the sun become slanting this makes the climate less hot height above the sea level the height of a place above the sea level is called the altitude altitude of that place the higher we go the cooler it gets places located at higher altitudes are cooler than places located at lower altitudes for example bangalore and chennai are almost on the same latitude but bangalore is much cooler than chennai because it is about 3100 feet above the sea level while chennai is located almost at the sea level distance from the sea places closer to the sea are neither very hot nor very cold whereas places far away from the sea have extreme climates delhi is very cold in winter and very hot in summer because it is far away from any sea coast in summer the breeze from the sea cools the hot air on the land while in winter the warm breeze from the sea prevents the air on the land from getting cold sea breeze is warm because water cools down slowly that is why mumbai which is near the sea experiences a moderate temperature throughout the year direction of the winds winds influence the weather of a place depending on the place of their origin the winds coming from cold regions decreases the temperature in the region whereas the winds coming from hot regions increase the temperature of the region the winds coming from the sea make the region humid humidity humidity the amount of moisture or water vapor in the air is called humidity it affects the climate of a place winds blowing from the sea have a lot of moisture in them that is why places near the sea such as mumbai and chennai are very humid the rainfall that a place receives also 
depends on the level of humidity in the air. Heat zones Based on the intensity of the heat received by a particular place, the earth can be divided into three heat or temperature zones. Torrid zone Torrid zone or tropical zone Tropical zone this zone receives direct rays of the sun, the area which lies on both the sides of the equator between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn is called the Torrid Zone. In this zone, the climate remains hot and humid throughout the year. Temperate Zone Temperate Zone This zone receives slanting rays of the sun, the area which lies between the torrid zone and the frigid zone in both the hemispheres is called the temperate zone. This area is neither very hot nor very cold. Frigid zone. Frigid zone. This zone receives Steep and slanted rays of the sun, the area which lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole in the Northern hemis Hemisphere is called the North Frigid Zone and the area that lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole in the Southern Hemisphere is called the South Frigid Zone. The Frigid Zone is extremely cold throughout the year.